Hello you. Hello, uh, welcome to a new series. If you don't know who we are, I'm Ian. And I'm David. And we are here back in Walt Disney World. Ooh, there's the castle. It's February, we are primarily back because you want to see Festival of the Arts. We've never done that festival, so we're back no. for that. Back for six nights, staying yep. at the Ramada. We flew British Airways uh, Premium. We have got lots planned. Yeah, we got Disney After Hours, we've Broadway got hits. Broadway hits, we've got a pin trading event. We've had a travel day. And what a travel day it was. It's been a very interesting day. Uh, so you need to catch up <laughs> and then come join us in a bit. My anxiety levels are quite high. <laughs> We're at South Terminal. It's just come out of a lift. So we need to go to the VA check-in. There's a massive storm hitting the UK right now. Dennis <laughs> might be screwing up Dennis our trip. Dennis. Yeah. And we got an email to say, expect disruption. And let's go do bag drop and uh, yeah. Let's see if we're going. <laughs> this might be a really short travel day. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock in the morning. It took us just over an hour to get here in a taxi. Not too bad. We had a very nice taxi driver. He told us his friends live in Florida. Very chatty man. They, it was a very chatty man. We're flying to Tampax. 10 hour flight to Tampax. Hopefully we're leaving in two and a half hours. Yes, where are we flying to? Tampax. Tampax. <laughs> <laughs> Special two for one deal on Tampax. We're flying a uh, premium up. Right, we got the weird drop your own bags off. Oh no, do it yourself. What the heck? Scan your boarding pass. That's never a good sign, is it? Self-checking don't work. Bag drop, the machine just beeps. I'm actually speaking to a lady. Oh, we're in. We're, we're in. Oh, we're in the first in. bit. <laughs> oh gosh, that was quite stressful. I've got liquids. I never bring liquids because I forget to take them out. Which is already because I've not actually drink this morning and I am parched. So we're through security. <laughs> David got stopped. On go, both things. <laughs> he had, they searched his bag. They did the swab. Pulled out the face masks. <laughs> <laughs> did they? Yeah. That's hilarious. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> we did get asked if we had uh, been to mainland China. Yeah. We're going to go to the lounge. Oh, yeah, which one are we going to? Uh, number one room, number one oh. club rooms. Yeah. The one that doesn't accept children. Oh, people are coughing. Boots has been done. Boots has done. Oh, hello. I'm sure that's flattering angle. <laughs> <laughs> so what, get, what did you get for Boots? Um, Imodium and water. Yeah. What all travellers need. She knocked over my bottle of water. I think she almost chucked my phone off the counter. I'm like, thank God we've got diarrhea tablets. You're making me shit myself. I went skidding across the <laughs> Right, we're going to the lounge. On the upper deck, next to Dixon's, it's the lounges. Oh, look, that's where we're going. Club rooms, club rooms, straight ahead, straight ahead. Oh, they were expecting you, David. <laughs> 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 what shall I have for my breakfast? I think I'm going to have smashed avocado. Possibly a bacon roll. Vegetarian breakfast. Oh, the one that they gave you butter last time when you said dairy free. <laughs> but you need to say vegan. <laughs> what are you having to drink? Uh, whiskey and coke. Thanks. Whiskey and coke, I think I'll have the same. And a cup of tea. So I seem to have secured myself a couple of croissants. A mug of apple juice, because there's no glasses. I've got a mug of Sprite. <laughs> oh yeah, you have got a mug of Sprite. I forgot I got you that mug. <laughs> and I've got sludgy tea. So David's breakfast has arrived. <laughs> sure, David's got sausage. Well, I've got some poached egg dog knackers. Don't they look like dog knackers? <laughs> they do, don't they? If you don't see it, then you're a better man than I. Also, I've got bacon roll. Oh, David's flipping his beans out. It's like a Mark Suspenser's side of that. Shot of David eating the tater tot. Oh, you lucky people. So, breakfast is done. My poached egg tasted a bit weird, so I've left the last one. I've realised I don't like poached egg on avocado toast. Quite possibly the most middle class thing I've said for a long time. <laughs> I've still got a croissant, I've still got my tea, I've still got my whiskey. Also got quite a lot of ketchup. Do you want some ketchup to drink? No thanks, got whiskey. Okay. We've not really vlogged much in this lounge. We're so close to our neighbours. But you've seen what we have for breakfast. We, we're going on the plane soon. Yeah. It's, it looks like it's happening. Yeah, so we don't think Dennis the Menace is going to catch us out, but famous last words. We're heading for gate 19 this way. So, oh, so that was the lounge. What's she saying? Charlie Brown. <laughs> Are we still going? <laughs> yeah. So what was that? Uh, we just come from a lounge. Yeah, so you've seen what we had for breakfast. You would have seen what we had to drink. It was uh, very quiet. Very quiet, which is one of the reasons we like that lounge. Uh, but it does mean that you didn't see a lot. But we did go there before, so we'll leave a link up there for our previous trip to that lounge. Yeah. Um, it's 50 quid on the day. Each? Yeah. It's, it's not worth £38 it. 38 pounds in advance, but we booked it through the British Airways or Virgin website and we got another discount as well. And if you sign up, you get £5 off if someone else uh, um, makes a booking. Refer a friend? Yeah, refer a friend. 
So we are heading to Gate 19, and we are flying to Tampax. Yeah, we're off to Tampax because MCO is too expensive for this time of year. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, oh my God, look at those people waiting at Gate Number Ten. Horrendous. So we're going to Disney World. We've got a ten-hour flight. Uh, it's Storm Dennis. Dennis. I want to say Darren. It's Storm Dennis. Dennis the Menace. Uh, we thought we may not be flying today, but it looks like we are. So. Uh, yeah. We're off to get on a plane. We're on a very slow moving conveyor belt. How slow is this? <laughs> I feel like I'm going backwards. <laughs> so we're flying uh, Premium Economy. Uh, who's sat by the window? All right, who's going to spill their drink down them? <laughs> uh, I've already not one drink over in the lounge. Yeah. Let's get on this plane. Oh, Why is it taking so long? Because we're not walking down the travelator. Oh, it smells a bit fishy. It's like my bus yesterday. So that was a stressful getting on the plane. Well, I say it's stressful. We just can't find so stuff. There's a lot of stuff to put away, and then I forget where stuff is, and then I panic. I feel like I'm at the a very posh theatre seat, because it looks like that's where binoculars go. It is. Got binoculars, dear, binoculars. Oh, there's some dirty stuff behind that one. Is there? That needs an anti back wipe. Luckily, I bought my Dettol wipes, obviously. And I'll I put them in my bag. I'll go get mine, hold the camera. We're not sponsored by Dettol. <laughs> if, you look, if you're watching. So we're supposed to be leaving in half an hour, but the plane's quite empty. We want to get up before that wind starts, and I don't mean empty. The bad news is it's just started to rain or snow. I think it's snow. Combination of oh. oh God, Dennis. So when we got on earlier, I gave David some mints. We had some mints left over from our previous trip, so I said, oh, have some mints. So uh, David took the mints and thought, oh, I know, I'll put them somewhere safe. So he put them in there not realising that there's a, there's a hole in the bottom. So they just fell on the floor and they've gone up to the people in front. The people in front will be enjoying some lovely mints, <laughs> minty treats on this flight. <laughs> oh, my leg. <laughs> 12.30. What time is this flight supposed to go? 12.30. I don't see us moving, David. We're not moving? It's actually been 10 minutes, but... <laughs> Feels like a lifetime. I just read there's an Extinction Rebellion protest going on in the South Terminal. It's peaceful. We've got Storm Dennis. No USB socket or plug that we can find. Oh my god, it's the end of the world. <laughs> they're missing a fire extinguisher. Yeah. The reason we're still here is that they're missing a fire extinguisher. So to fix it, they're going to steal it from somewhere else. I'm like, that doesn't make it right. <laughs> that just means that other planes are going to be screwed as well. I just saw a man running in the rain. <laughs> The bridge is moving. They need to get it on board, don't they? I'm going to throw it up at the window. Here, yeah, catch, Captain. <laughs> nice one, chaps. Oh, it's gone off. <laughs> oh, it's a boy. The man over there is fixing the uh, fire extinguisher to the cupboard on the wall. See little peekaboo. Hello. Okay, so we now have a fire extinguisher. Can we take off now, please, David? That's the man who got our fire extinguisher. Thank you. Oh, we're trying to work out if that's a USB socket down. Oh. <laughs> Can you work it out? Is that a USB socket? Oh, someone's had a drink, haven't they? Steady and Lil. <laughs> Try again. We think that's where the USB socket is. Oh my god. Oh, I'm none the wiser. Oh my gosh. They should just put it in a magazine. <laughs> okay, folks. This I think could, it's there. We think there's a USB socket, but we're none the wiser. 12.58. We're departing half an hour late. We've got fast passes for Magic Kingdom tonight. Haunted Mansion. And I want to say Big Thunder. I don't think it is. We've, got, we've got fast passes, but we've got to get from Tampax to the Ramadan Hotel and then to the park. <laughs> That's one of our favourite beds. Ah, thank you, darling. Actually, I've come to read the audition. The big lady wants to audition. Got three back, Oh, nice to you. And the golden girl. <laughs> so David's having a little nap. I thought I'd take you through the menu before we have lunch. We've got a starter of smoked duck with orange and mango noodle salad. Interesting. A choice of three mains. David's ordered a low lactose dinner, so we'll see what turns up. I've already pre-ordered the braised beef uh, hot pot, which I'm looking forward to. I don't really want curried fish. I don't want gnocchi because I don't really like the blue cheese option with it. The dessert is a rich chocolate and orange pot, or it's a cheese and fig with a, I'm assuming some biscuits. And then we get a light snack prior to landing. So the drinks have arrived. David's had, <laughs> oh God, I promise you that's only the first one. David's got whiskey and Coke. There it is. 
I've got a vodka and coke and a fizzy water. And we've got some pretzels. David thinks he's playing the pan pipes. Uh, here's a little tip we picked up from the lovely Scott and Yas Stranger. If you don't follow Yas and Scott, we'll, we'll leave a link to their channel up there and downstairs. The tip is, once you've emptied your bottle, lie on the side, you'll get a bit more out of it. We'll come back to that in a minute, when David's sucking the end of that bottle to get the rest of the whiskey fumes. Right, cheers. Cheers, ears. Look, it worked, look. Teeny tiny bit more whiskey. Look, more whiskey. Whiskey for David. So David's dinner has arrived. He has got some kind of curried salad. It looks quite nice. I like salsery. Oh, it's so like tomatoey salsery. Bit of fruit, obviously. Bread roll. And da -da 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 -da. what the heck is that? Oh, chicken with some vegetables and a bit of broccoli. It's nice to see the broccoli stayed green. <laughs> I think that's dyed green. <laughs> nice, it looks okay. It looks good. The chicken looks a bit dry, perhaps. But you're on a plane. I'm sure it tastes good. I know I pre ordered my main, but I'm now wishing I chose a special meal because it would have meant I got it now and I'm really hungry. Especially after that half hour delay. It's tucking in straight into the chicken. No? It's lovely. What is it? It's like salsa. <laughs> Literally a thumbs up from David. Da, really da, da. Duck and noodle salad. We got offered a roll, I chose that one. I've got cheese and quince. I've also got a little bit of uh, vanilla crumbly fudge. I've got some fudge. You should pack that in your bag. A chocolate and orange pot. Got some crackers, bottle of water, and. Mm. Oh, look at that beef hot pot. That does look good, doesn't it? It smells amazing. Your starter looks good as well. Yeah. I'm well impressed by the uh, the whole plate, to be fair. That duck salad is delicious. Smoky bits of duck. Got a sweet noodle. Bitterness from the uh, orange segment. Really tasty. The seeds and the chilli. It's giving it a bit of a general heat and my tongue is a tingling. Loved it. Really loving it. Round one finished. So now I'm going to move on to the beef hot pot. I put my butter on top to slightly melt it for when I have my bread on my days. That is amazing. That beef just falls apart. It's got a really deep beefy flavour. Look at that. It just falls apart. It's a lovely beefy deep flavour. It's got a lot of flavour to it. Potatoes are delicious as well. It's such a good looking potato. I think I might want to marry it. There is so much beef in this. I mean, it must be like seven or eight massive cubes like that. And it's all wonderfully tender. It's actually quite filling. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna go on with the cheese and the dessert. I'm obviously gonna give it a go. Food on this fire, the last one we had. Can't really fault it. Yeah. So this is what my chocolate orange dessert looks like. As soon as I took the little lid off, there's a real waft of orange. It's delicious. It looks quite rich. I am so stuffed after that amazing tray of food. But you know what? I'm gonna give it a go. It's like a Jaffa cake meets a Terry's chocolate orange dessert. It's lovely, it's got a nice bit of chocolatey sponge. It's quite moist with the orangey stuff at the bottom. Oh, I said moist, apologies. Right, I think I will finish this. So we're all done and dusted with lunch. David's watching The Good Place. He's got a few episodes left. He's finished his lunch. I finished my lunch. I've just downed that bottle of water so everything's now swishing around in my belly. We've got seven hours and 41 minutes till we land. David went to the loo, came back, sat on the GoPro. Also, when he came back, as he was getting in, he caught himself with a little, uh, little sticky out table. Oh, David's sticking my booze. Hello, someone's got a problem. <laughs> oh, we've got some, we've got some I've got, ice. I've, I've got a problem, it's not that. <laughs> <laughs> Going on vacation. Uh, maybe we don't need any more drinks after this. <laughs> David's going to finish watching The Good, good Place, place. Yeah. I mean, on this flight, so we might see him cry later. But um, it's very exciting for him because uh, in our last trip, we went to uh, Los Angeles and we went to the Universal Studios. We were, lucky, we were lucky enough to walk around the Good Place set. And we'll, leave a, we'll have a link in the corner. Which corner? That corner up there, yeah. We'll come back and film his final tears. 
Dave has just watched the last ever The Good Place. He's a little bit upset. No spoilers. Huh? No spoilers. I just watched Judy Garland and I cried at the end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About to watch Rocket Man. David's now got his dairy free afternoon snack. He looks like a old school packet of cigarettes. Something mint. It's a hot wrap with something mint in it. It either looks like that or it looks like you've got crayons or chalk. Oh. Hello, you can play us a tune. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> it's like chickpea and mint. Bit like samosas. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I mean, don't do that. I mean, that looks just wrong. You should go see a doctor. I got a ham and cheese toasty, and there's a flapjack and water. David got apple juice, as well as his big, big white crayon. Sorry, do you want to try it? I'll sniff it. Oh no, David purposely shoved it up her nose. So for the rest of the day, I'm now going to smell cooked samosa. Little does he know that he's walking to Magic Kingdom later. See you later, loser. Bye. Not actually a ham and cheese toasty. It's a croque monsieur. It's got your very sticky bechamel cheesy deliciousness on top, which you've got to have my fingers. That is lovely. I'm going to go back to Elwood John, but I don't think I'm going to finish it. Not give me. That's the one. <laughs> oh God, it's like he's here in the room. Yeah. <laughs> We're in Tampa. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> right, we've got bags. One's a bit wet. Yeah, this one. Right, let's go and get a car. It may not be MCO, but it's still a shuttle. Oh, here it comes. Please stand clear of the doors oh. and hold handrails firmly at all times. I'm pole dancing, <laughs> holding on. I've got my arm wrapped around it. It's half past six. Park closes in what, four hours? Four and a half hours. First fast pass ends in about two and a half. <gasps> yeah, get to the hotel, use the facilities. Right, getting a shuttle to get the car. Uh, we've been to the booth. We've typed in all the details we typed in when we uh, <laughs> checked in online for the car. Twice. Declined everything. And now heading to get pick up a car. Down here, into the depths of hell. <laughs> oh guys, so long. <laughs> The gift it's shop. the longest escalator ride in the world. It's very long, it's a bit unnerving. We have a car. <laughs> we have a car. We've got a car. Um, unlike at MCO, they bring the car to back. you, but you can't select your car. So uh, We got given this one, I'll show you what it looks like. So this is the car for the week, we didn't pick it, we got given it. Looks okay, don't really know much about it. It's a car, in stocking up the water. Say hello Ian. Hello Ian. Bags, uh, the bags fitted in quite nice. I'm gonna put my hand luggage in uh, the rear. So just left the airport. Ooh. It's a, it's a busy one. On, on the GPS, this is like dark red. <laughs> it's bumper to bumper at the moment. But we're in Florida. <laughs> so someone definitely had the poops on that plane. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> us. It was not us. Someone was uh, farting a lot on that plane. It was really smelly. Yeah. And when we were getting off, I don't know how if Ian managed to catch any of it because I think he tried to film some of it. But the seats. No, I didn't get it. In oh there. my god! But the seats in front, so like there was about six people in front of us or eight people in front. Their seats were absolutely disgusting. Oh my god! I've never seen so there much was popcorn. Rubbish. There was chewing oh. gum wrappers. There was old newspapers, but literally bits everywhere. Of food. <laughs> general plan is to get to a hotel, check in, we've got about an hour's drive from Tampa, an hour and 15 I think left. Yeah. Um, get Check in, we're staying at Romado, we stayed there before. Well the aim is to go to Magic Kingdom, whether we get there or not. Uh -oh. We'll get there. It's over to 11. We've and got it, two fast passes and we need food. Oh, I want to go to Starlight Cafe so bad. It's like, oh I just want those chicken strips. First sign for Disney. Epcot and Magic Kingdom. Oh, hello Black Angus. Hello, I can see Bob Evans in the distance. <laughs> right, this is where, oh. oh, we're back. We've not been here for ages. Okay, I know. To show it. So she say they, we booked a room in the tower but they got no room in the tower? Is that what I heard? Yeah. What? Yeah. Why do you not have any room in the tower? We've prepaid. Oh, this is not what you want at half past eight when you've got 
fast passes and you've been traveling for a day so the update is uh they've got a new booking system the old classic and uh they've got two big groups and there's been confusion not quite sure why there's confusion so there's no room in the inn and it's not even christmas and we're not <laughs> jesus and mary she's determined to find us a room but she keeps staying away from the front desk and I think she's checking room by room on the system, but I'm like, there's no rooms in the tower. And some man's just been to complain that he sat on his bed. Oh my God. He wasn't bolted to the wall, it flipped up and he wants the police to come around and he wants to report and to go to hospital. He was such a scary man. And he sits on the toilet and it rocks. So I don't even want to go in that, that part of the building because that doesn't sound like it's a great place to go. So, update, it's quarter to nine. <laughs> we still don't have a room. There's a school party here and they've taken all the rooms. But we've paid for it as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's paid up front. I just can't believe you've not got a room and we've paid for it. And your manager's gone to fix the bed. Yes, I would have had to speak with him, but you know, you've seen where he's at. I just like, I just, I can't. Little update. David's getting hangry. <laughs> so it turns out, even though we booked and prepaid, they don't have a room for us in the tower. We've literally paid for the room. And they don't have a room for us. Uh, so the only way they can find out if there is a room is by checking the system for every single room manually. Uh, they were offered to give us a room in the other part of the hotel, which we don't want. And if we did want that, we would have stayed there because it's cheaper. Instead of going to that room and then going to get food, I decided I wanted to stay here and put the pressure on for them to make a decision and find us a room. Um, it's the first time we've ever had any problems. Here. Yeah, I don't know it's not the lady's problem, but we paid the room. And I don't want $20 back in vouchers for breakfast I'm not going to use. It would stay in a room that I wouldn't have considered in the first place. So, uh, we would speak to the manager, but he's going to fix that man's bed that flipped <laughs> off the wall and his rocking toilet. Yeah. So, whether we'll get to the park tonight, we'll find out later. The jeopardy. There's a je there's genuine jeopardy in this episode. A little update. It's nine o'clock. We did a tour previously. Just to let you know, there's still Mulligan's Sports Bar. There's no one in there. Oh, actually, that's a lie. They've just increased their patronage by one. The Smokehouse Grill over there and then there's a little shop over there behind the big bush she's called david over but there's laughter and smiling so i think we have a room so we've got off the plane about half past five quarter to six it's now quarter past nine three and a half hours ago we got off the plane this is where we find we're next to um a room of school children and they're really loud <laughs> mm. well let's let's cross that bridge so we're heading to floor six. We're in room 1623, which yes. is ironically the demograph our channel doesn't reach. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, the only reason I'm doing this is because you've paid and I totally understand why you're frustrated. <laughs> I'm like, you're doing it because your job, love. <laughs> oh, I wish I hadn't said that. That really annoys me. 1623, 1623. It's at the end of the corridor. They're not whispering. What time is it? 9.15. So is it too late for us to go to the park? I think it possibly is. I think by the time we get in there, it's going to be a good 45 minutes. By the time we, realistically, I mean, that's just down the road, but we're not going to leave here for 15, 20 minutes. We'll get there at about 10 to 10, quarter to 10. Then, we, then we've got to go through security, we've got to get on the monorail. We won't actually get into Magic Kingdom until... 10 30 ish and it shuts at 11 and yeah. then we're literally coming back out again plus we still need to eat as well yeah so i think we're going to go and get some food so come with us while we go and get some food. yeah and hopefully you've enjoyed it so far today remember to give it a thumbs up uh yeah it's not the travel day we expected <laughs> she, oh i can't believe you pay for a hotel and they don't have a room for you that's insane yeah or they say they don't she found this yeah Looks all right. Where are we going? Bob, Bob. We're having a travel day, Bob. <laughs> That's the first for us. It is. No Magic Kingdom. Ooh. We've been shot in half an hour. Oh, Bob. Yeah. Oh, we'll be disappointed again. Oh, something familiar. We're in Bob Evans. <laughs> travel day, half past nine. David's having a breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> We've had Hurricane Dennis, or whatever his name is. Oh, we had a lacking a far. Oh no, we've been lacking a fire extinguisher in the plane, so we didn't take off for ages. Uh, our bags didn't come out for ages, and it was a lot of traffic on the way, and then there was no room. But, we were at Disney, so it doesn't really matter. 
Ow. It's a slightly different menu. Well, it looks it's different. Updated, hasn't it? It's been updated. It's new for 2020. It might be updated, but we're both going for the uh, pot roast and a bowl of chicken, chicken noodle, noodle soup. soup. So we just saw Maria, who was one of the regular, <laughs> one of the regular waitresses who served us before. What's flying to that song? We can't afford it. I can't wait to see her. <laughs> my medal. Okay, <laughs> we'll come back to that. And I'm going to have dinner rolls. I might steal a bit of these dinner rolls. David forgot to bring lactose tablets, so we're literally eating, eating against the clock. I need to get back to that room, hopefully not being locked out. Or they've given it to someone else. <laughs> Who knows? It's a massive bowl of chicken noodle soup. David's already started tucking into his. Uh, and the dinner rolls. Just as a little reminder, they're like Mark Spencer's iced buns without the icing. Because they're sweet and they're warm. David's inhaling his soup like it's oxygen. He's <laughs> so hungry. And he's actually having dinner rolls. And we've still got pot roast to come as well. Oh god, the food keeps coming. Pot roast has arrived. I mean, I know it doesn't look pretty. It's in a bigger bowl than it is. It is in a bigger bowl. Oh my god, there's so much of it. Fall off the fork, pork, pot roast, carrots, gravy, mash. David's almost inhaled his soup completely. I've still got loads to go and dinner rolls. This is home comfort food. It's like a big warm hug. It's just what I need after today. <laughs> I'm really struggling. And we're getting cookies as well. I'm very confused what's happening. I'm in a food coma. <laughs> We've got drinks to go and cookies. Oh, I can take the cookies as well. So that was travel day. How yeah. are you feeling? I am absolutely bush. So I think I'm bush because we haven't been to a park and normally that adrenaline rush we get at the end of the day yeah. about either seeing uh, the castle or going on rides hasn't been there today it hasn't, hasn't. because we didn't get our room in time. But tomorrow we're off to the Magic Kingdom. Yes. Um, if you've liked today's episode though, our travel day, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and uh, thank you for watching and here's what's coming up next time. Bye. Noisy, isn't it? <laughs> Morning. Free. Hello, you. <laughs> Zoo. Sunny morning at Magic Kingdom, there's no better Sunday. There is no better Sunday. It's Crystal Palace. I don't what? know why I'm doing this. <laughs> Look at these but Lovely. Pooh's over there. Poo boy's there. Hey! Best ticket ever. Too much sorted sausage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have a lovely day now. I love your cheeks. Thanks, Poo. <laughs> it's friendship day everyone. Help me. Oh my god, I can't believe you ate mouldy dinner. I think Eeyore's a bit miffed because I called him poo earlier. There's a fruit fly in there somewhere. Wow, welcome to Disney World! Woo!